Well, something you said is is uh, really resonant with me, and I think most of the people who are part of this community is that you know the outside eye, the judgment eye, is something that can either strengthen your resolve to keep going, or it can kill your vision altogether. And I think what you're also saying it's something that you know people have heard me quote you on for years is that you have to turn your discomfort into inquiry. And the step further that we take it here or that I take it is that when you turn your discomfort into inquiry, the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your question. Mm -hmm. And every time we see something, we either perceive it as good, bad, right, wrong, but literally everything is neutral until we give it a value. And what you've done, I believe, is not in, in your own discomfort was give yourself the freedom from being subject to other people's gaze, other people's determination, other people's uh, perception of the work you were doing, especially when they weren't brave enough to ask you a better question. Yeah. Um, basically spent a year asking people, well, I was beginning to define good feedback as the kind where you couldn't wait to go back to work. Like get me back to work. Not the kind that put you to bed for days in a row. Why did I ever think I could do this? Not the kind that stirred up the doubt, but the kind that like, I can't wait to go back and work on it. You know? Yeah. They ask people what, what I know they've all had that experience of what was going on in their lives. And I heard over and over and over again, the same kind of things, which I then sequenced and took it back to alternate roots and to another dance festival, the Colorado dance festival said, okay, you guys, let's try it. I got a commitment from both of those institutions to give it a whirl. 